Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Samantha. So I'm gonna go through a couple of things that I got myself from the Handbag Haven and they are currently rebranding to Havre Deluxe, I believe, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I bought and also demonstrate it as well. To start off with, I got this base shaper for my wallet on chain. So I did pick black. So I'm gonna unwrap this and see what it looks like. It comes like this. They just wrapped it with tissue paper. So it looks like this. I got the black leather one and you can see where it folds. So I'm gonna fold it, I guess, this way. So, so this is gonna go into my wallet on chain. As you can see, the way it's stored right now has the little bent and the fold in the leather. So there are these things that are created to kind of give your bag more shape and more space to put your stuff as well. So I've actually never used this before because I don't put much in my wallet on chain anyways, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in and see what it looks like with it. So this is before. So it's pretty tight to get into. You can already see it on the sides that it's stretching the bag. It's kind of scary. Okay, so I put the entire base in and look at that. The good thing about my bag is that it is caviar leather, so it's not as noticeable as lambskin with all the creases and everything. So it's going a lot smoother and I definitely have a lot more space to put stuff in here and a bonus because it is a base protector. If I am throwing in a pen and then the lid comes off and it's pointing this way, it'll touch the base protector. Obviously, I'm not gonna rely on that, but as a bonus, it's going to protect the bottom of my bag. Now, I just realized I bought black because my bag is black, but I didn't really think about that the wallet on chain has that burgundy finish, but I'm really not that bothered by it because it's dark in there anyways. You can only see it because of my ring light, but if I'm looking into my bag, it's kind of pitch black. I'm gonna take this out for a spin and see how well this goes. It actually feels very firm. I was a little bit weary on these bag bases because I thought it would mean that the edges of my bags would kind of hit more things on the side and when I'm walking, but this actually makes it look like a bigger bag size and it's an actual, you know, purse rather than a wallet on chain kind of thing because it just looks so flat like a wallet. This actually does give it a lot more character and I'm actually really pleased with this. So I'm happy with this one. And of course, I will put all the things that I got in this video down below in the description. That way you guys can get a direct link to the exact same products. With this base shaper, I'm actually really pleased with and I'm probably gonna take it out while I store it. I'm not sure yet. I haven't really decided and done my research whether to keep the base in or not while I'm storing it, but in terms of using this bag when I'm going out, I'm definitely gonna use this base shaper. I'm actually very impressed with this. The next thing I got are two hardware covers. One is for my wallet on chain, the double C is here, and the other one is for my medium classic flap for this area and also this one here. Now, as I mentioned earlier in my video, um, I was actually told this by my friend Francesca, but also on their website, it does mention it, how they are rebranding from the Handbag Haven to Havre Deluxe. And there are a few products like this, we'll read the Handbag Haven. Since they have a lot of packaging prior to their rebranding, they didn't want to throw anything away. So I'm actually really happy that they kept what they had rather than throw it all away and jump right into rebranding. So I'm very pleased with how they are conscious about waste and all of that. The only thing that I will have to say in my review and first impressions is that I hope that their feature packaging will be a lot more different than this because unfortunately when I got my package, one of these hardware stickers for my wallet on chain, which is even smaller, came out and it was actually found under the flap in my cardboard box. So I'll put in a picture here. So if I didn't kind of look through everything, then I really wouldn't have seen it because it was also wrapped with a ton of tissue paper in the box. So I know it is not entirely the Handbag Haven um, Havre Deluxe's fault. It could also be the shipping company because my box was squished and it just didn't look really nice. So. 
I will give them the benefit of the doubt that it was definitely the shipping company that shipped it out because the bag was squished. But in terms of designing on the protectors is that it actually came out and I realized that it is only flaps that are holding the product. So when you open it, you can see that it's just held by this flap. Now I've already taken off the tape that you can see right there, but regardless, it's nothing with a Ziploc baggie or anything containing it. So I really don't feel that it is very safe and secure when I opened it. It was just a little surprise, which is not terrible because I do understand paper is a lot more environmentally friendly and I do like that but I wouldn't want any of my products falling out or that I have to be super careful with it. So what I got in my wallet on chain is these two heart stickers, which is to help you remove any dust before you put on the stickers. Then you get these two use me to place stickers, which will hold on to the logos and will help you stick the stickers on your hardware. Then you get two of the stickers that you order. So with the wallet on chain, you see the small CC here and another one with a sticker on the back that says free sample again is another cc and then also i don't know what this is it's a very small oval there's nothing on the back it doesn't say free sample on it so i'm gonna have to double check and yeah that is it for the wallet on chain one and then for the classic and medium same thing with the packaging it was a little bit scary to open so this is what the tape looks like it does hold it but on the sides, the products oop, can fall out like that. So same thing again, there are the two heart stickers. Use me to place stickers. I have the two double CC logos and the two back of the hardware stickers as well. This one this time has the free sample at the back, but it is the little tiny oval so I still don't know what this is for. I'm not sure if it's for the zipper or... Yeah, so I don't know what the little tiny small sample thing is for. I can't really think of anything at the moment. But regardless, I'm gonna move on. So those are the two stickers that I got. It is for my classic medium flap and my wallet on chain. Next, I got this package and whatever it shows on this picture is not what I ordered. I ordered five wipes. Um, the leather restoration pen and I believe one of the waterproofing and conditioner. So I'm going to open this and see if it is what I ordered or if the pictures on the bag is different. Oh, it has a very plasticky smell to it. Okay, so... That is unfortunate, but the liquid has spilled out of the container actually right there. You can see that it is a lot more white and clearly the product has come out of the container. So I'm gonna check if any of the plastic bottles or anything like that are broken, but yeah, it's really wet and it definitely smells like that product. I think it's an intensive conditioning balm. So the first thing is the leather retouching pen. I'll do that later. I have that cloth that I showed you, the repellent protector. So I bought the one that is water resistant or water repellent. And there is product all over that. I'm so upset. The little tissue that comes with it is wet and the bottle is wet. And this is also has product all over it. So unfortunately, I'm a little bit upset because I don't know how long it will take to send back or ask for something else. I'll keep you guys updated, but I'm gonna have to wipe everything down. And I think this is the conditioning bomb that I guess blew up in this package. And I really do wanna say that it's definitely the shipping company that brought this out because like I said the box was squished so everything else was okay except for everything in this bag and I guess that is also why they keep it in a sealed bag for that reason so I am glad that this bag existed otherwise everything else would be wet and lotioned I guess so yeah if you guys ever order anything packaged I would probably not think that whatever you ordered is exactly that's on the cover they probably threw in whatever you ordered and packaged it in the same packaging but like i said this is the handbag haven 
old packaging. I don't know what the new ones will look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this pen now. At least this one has the bubble wrap on it. Okay, so I don't know if it's supposed to look like this, but look at this end. It looks like all the product exploded in the front here. And this is the twisting part. So I don't know what happened here, but yeah, it's not even twisted and everything came out. It's definitely the way it was shipped and packaged. So I'm going to jump and skip everything from this little baggie and go ahead and put the hardware pieces on my bag. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stick the wallet on chain sticker on this one. And I'm going to use my microfiber cloth first just to wipe off any like small things like oil, dust, and whatnot. And then I'm going to use the heart sticker to remove any dust. As it says, use me first to remove dust. I'm doing it very lightly because I don't want to over stick any on the caviar leather. It looks good to me. There are a little few like scratches already. It's not like brand new out of the box. I've already worn it a couple times too, especially for my birthday. And I'm gonna wipe it one more time using my microfiber cloth. Now I'm gonna use these Use Me To Place stickers and I'm going to basically stick it on there. So what I did was I stuck it on the logo itself so that when I peel off the logo sticker, I basically have to only hold the two sides. So that's how I am picturing how I want to do this. So now I can just hold my bag with both hands and do so. I think I did an okay job, so I'm just gonna push on that and leave that there and then slowly peel this off now. Okay, so now you can see the stickers on there. There is also the little middle piece, but I think I'm just gonna leave it like that, even though I can take it off, it doesn't bother me. And who knows, it'll fall off on its own or maybe I'll decide to take it off later, but I think in terms of position, I've gotten it pretty well and I'm going to leave that there now. Next, I have my medium flap and I'm going to do just the same and I think I'm gonna do the underside first. And as you can see, I actually have um, the original plastic rubber piece on here that came with this bag. Um, it was like this before, but I just rotated it so that um, these bolts are these nuts and bolts kind of thing don't hit on that little nub on the front. But now that I have this protector, this will literally do what I was trying to get it to do. So again, this time I don't need that center piece. So I'm actually just gonna remove that so that's not in the way. And I'm going to reuse these Use Me stickers because it works better when they're less sticky. I found that it was way too sticky um, the first time I was using it. So I'm going to actually do it vertically this way. So I'm gonna do it like this so I can place it down like that. There we go. And I totally forgot, but wipe that down first. Use the dust sticker. And I like to wipe it again. It's so much shinier now. I don't know if you guys can see what I see in person, but a lot better. Unfortunately, I already do have some hairline scratches because I didn't know these kind of hardware things existed before, you know. I definitely wish I had these stickers when I got my Louis Vuitton favorite PM because that rectangle piece scratches so easily.
There you go. So I'm actually pretty pleased with this and I'm gonna move on towards doing this part now, the double C's, which I think is going to be a little bit trickier, but we'll see. So I'm gonna peel that off first with this sticker. That did not work. It doesn't fit exactly, and I'll just put it on to show you what I mean, but yeah, I don't think. No, I'm fine with the nub sticking out like that. I don't even know if that was supposed to be there, but I am going to skip out on that and do the double C's. I think it'll be easiest if I close this, so that way, sorry. Actually, no, this will be easier. Okay, I did that really quick. I actually lined it up mostly in the middle, so that actually really helped with my eyes. So this is a finished product. Um, for me, it doesn't really have to be perfect as long as the main areas are just covered. That does it for me. And I'm actually quite happy with it. It does feel a little bit harder than usual, I think. Um, I don't know what it's gonna be like in the summer when it's blazing hot and the heat and all of that. But yeah, so far, I think I'm going to leave this on and we'll see how it goes i will do a review later down the road the more i use this bag and see how these kind of last i do have a feeling that over time these will need to be changed because naturally dust is going to crease around in certain areas and collect here the wallet on chain maybe not so much because it doesn't protrude out as much and with this one i'm going to leave that there so that means less dust will be finding its way in between there and sticking on as well. So I'm glad I stuck these on because I do want to bring out my wallet on chain a lot more. And the whole idea of scratching it kind of made me a little bit worried, but now I don't really have to be. So yeah, that is it for these two stickers. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found the way I stuck it a little bit easier. I actually didn't end up using any of this as well, though I think this will be a little bit more accurate. And of course, you do get two, so if I did mess up those ones, I also still have another copy or sample to make sure that it works this time. Hi everyone, so I am back and I received another package from Havre Deluxe and I wanna show you what they gave me. So they put in this little note, which was nice, which is thank you. And there's a handwritten part that says, thank you for your patience which is really nice considering obviously they had to resend some stuff and it actually did take a while for this to come. Um, based on the videos, you can literally tell that I have a whole new set of nails and it's all grown out so you can get an idea of how long this took to get here but nonetheless, I am happy that they sent something. So I'm just gonna open to show you guys. So they sent me another pen because the one I had before, um, this is a lot better. The other one I had was all over the place, all over the cap. I'm still gonna have to be a little bit more careful opening this, but I am a lot more happier with the way this looks than the first one that I got. Then I'm gonna open the polish. So here's a cloth, it's all nice and clean. There's no product on it. And the conditioning bomb. So this one actually still has stuff on it, which kind of sucks because I feel like there is already a tape around it and luckily it's also separate it's not in that baggie so the good thing is is that it didn't explode everywhere but I guess it's just 
how they deliver that. So actually that's a little bit disappointing. Then I ordered the pack that comes with five wipes. So they sent me 10. I did email them about this whole thing. So they did say that they were gonna send me another pack and also give an extra five wipes complimentary. So one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they did give me 10 cleaning wipes. And I really wanted this just so that I can put in my purses just in case I do spill anything that I have something that is like a wet nap that I can wipe right away. I really want to have one wipe in every single bag that I carry or at least my most carried bags. The only thing is that this cleansing balm. So if you guys are ordering it, I don't know if it's just me um, where it's delivering to, to Canada. The boxes were pretty beat up so I don't know if it's a Havre Deluxe issue or the parcel shipping companies. So that's the only thing that I really have an issue with is the cleansing balm and perhaps this pen that is damaged during shipping. But this is, like I already said, pretty good considering my other one was really, really, like the whole cap was black essentially. So I just want to show you guys what I received um, based off of having my first package come pretty in a bad condition. The box was very beat up and all of that kind of stuff. So nonetheless, I am happy overall with my purchases from Havre Deluxe, except I might just not order the conditioning balm and maybe the pen. I would just be a little bit weary of that constantly exploding. I have no idea why, but they're hardware protectors and I wanna say the wipes and all of that kind of stuff, I am definitely going to rebuy. Especially with their hardware protectors, I'm definitely gonna buy it again. So so I realized that my wallet hardware here actually is the same size as the wallet on chain so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on as well before it gets even more scratched I mean I already know it there are some scratches since I got this way back in I think 2015 or earlier actually So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped you guys for anyone out there who is looking to kind of touch up their bags, clean their bags and add any kind of protection onto their hardware whatsoever. I do have affiliated links down below in the description if you guys are interested and definitely check out their hardware and the base shapers. And of course, if you guys haven't already, it would mean so much to me if you guys would hit that subscribe button the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video.